So it's about to be a super busy holiday travel <laughs> weekend, especially if you're catching a flight. Yeah. AAA says more people are flying across the country and abroad this weekend than during the same time last year. And we know the TSA is bracing for more than 14 million passengers Ooh. over the long weekend. So joining us now is uh, Jesse Ashlock. He's the Deputy Global Editorial Director of Condé Nast Travel, thanks for joining us. Um, I won't be flying. I will be driving nowhere probably by the time I hit the road because uh, all the times that I'm leaving and coming back are the worst times. Right. Well, I'm staying put, but my fiance <laughs> and his kiddo ended up flying here. Right. So they were part of the pandemonium of the air travel. So everybody's going to have a little something to yeah. talk about. It wouldn't be a holiday weekend if you weren't stressed out a little. Um, so let's talk <laughs> about this. Our, our, is holiday travel, is it back to pre-pandemic levels? It is, uh, and it may be surpassing pre-pandemic levels. Um, this will be the busiest weekend of the year, or it'll match Memorial Day or exceed it. Um, and spending is going to be 17% up from uh, pre-pandemic levels because everybody's traveling again and things cost more. Um, but one of the things that's uniquely challenging about this particular weekend is the fact that um, you have weekenders on the road, you have people returning from long summer trips, you have uh, regular commuters, and then you also have uh, parents taking their kids to college. So there's a lot of cross-purposes on the high this weekend. Mm. There's a lot of people doing a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I love when I hear from experts of the popular destinations. Where are people headed to this weekend? Where, where can we expect to see the most people? Well, I would advise avoiding the most people, um, <laughs> but trying to go somewhere <laughs> somewhere close to where there is a lot of people. If you're living in the tri-state area is Greenport, New York, which is uh, on the North Fork, not the madhouse of the of the Hamptons and Montauk. Um, and even at this time of year, it's a little bit quieter. Um, we love a, a winery called Cruteau that makes only rosé. If that's your bag, oh. you can stop in for a flight. Um, in town, there's you're a great little restaurant language, called Jessie. Bricks and Rye. <laughs> <laughs> Mine as well. I plan to drink a little rosé once I get out from the parking lot I'll be sitting in to get where I'm going this weekend. That's one way to decompress, yeah, I guess. Yeah, totally, totally. I'll be thinking about it the whole way. Um, so, so, so that sounds like a hidden gem. Is that a hidden gem or are there some other destinations that are hidden gems uh, that you guys recommend? Sure, I'd call it a hidden gem. Mm -hmm. um, another hidden gem because... I think of it as like an off-season hidden gem um, is Big Bear Lake in California. Now, you know, Southern Californians know it as a premier ski destination, yes. but I love a ski destination in the summertime. This is true of Tahoe. It's true of Sun Valley, a lot of them. And it's certainly true of, uh, of Big Bear. Um, you know, go for a hike around the lake. There's the um, there's the Rim of the World Scenic Byway, a great way to drive and take in the views of the San Bernardino Mountains and um, and Big Bear Lake Brewing for a beer, if you want that, <laughs> instead of a rosé. Uh, got a pizza at Saucy Mama's right in town. It's just a great little weekend for people in Southern California. Yeah, it's funny. It's like we've met before. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Jesse. I live in Southern California. That is a that's a great place to go, and you, it, that's a hot tip. I yeah. mean, there, there's so many when you go through it. I was curious though, because I live in Los Angeles. My fiance and his little kiddo came out here. They were saying LAX was a nightmare. Are mm -hmm. there are there if people are kind of gearing up to get out to the airport, are there some really popular destinations just in terms of the amount of people traveling? Uh, yeah, Seattle, um, it, because of the end of the, uh, and Anchorage as well, because of the end of the cruise season, Orlando, um, that's people headed to theme parks, New York City, where I am. Um, those are all going to be stressed to the max this weekend yeah. and LAX. And always, uh, always, not just this weekend, always. That's true. Jesse, Jesse Ashlock, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great weekend, everybody. You too.